So, here is another question on relative velocity. So, here it has been uh, given that the distance between two towns M and N, okay, it is 400 kilometers. Two cars A and B, they start simultaneously from towns M and N respectively towards each other. It means they are moving towards each other. The car A from town M, it is traveling at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and car B from town N, it is moving at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Find the time that will elapse before they meet, which means at after how much time they will meet each other and the point, the location where they will meet. Okay, so uh, let us try to visualize the whole problem, the whole question. Okay, this. So here we have two towns, okay. Town M, let's say this is, and here it is, town N. Two cars have started from both of these towns, okay. This is car A, this is car B. This is moving with a velocity of 60 kilometers per hour. This is moving with a velocity of 40 kilometers per hour. The total distance between them is 400 kilometers. Okay, this. So again, uh, this is based on the concept of relative velocity. So here we have to put sign. So here this car A, it is moving towards the right side. So it will have plus sign, plus 60 kilometer per hour. This is moving towards the left side. So it will have minus sign, put minus 40 kilometers per hour. So, as they are moving towards each other, we have to calculate the relative velocity of approach. That is equal to 60 kilometers per hour, that is plus 60 kilometers per hour minus minus 40 kilometers per hour that is equal to 100 kilometers per hour this is the relative velocity okay so the time taken for both of them to meet each other it will be the total distance or the total gap separation between the two towns separation distance divided by the relative velocity of approach this will be equal to 400 kilometers which is the separation distance relative velocity of approach is 100 kilometers per hour that is equal to 4 hours. So, it means with both of them moving with the respective velocities, it will take 4 hours for both of them to meet somewhere. So, where they will meet exactly? So, it can be determined how much distance each of the vehicle will cover in 4 hours. So, car A, it will cover a total distance of 60 into 4 
which is equal to 240 kilometers in 4 hours and car B it will cover a distance of 40 into 4 160 kilometers in 4 hours so they will meet somewhere here let us say this one at this point ok this which is 160 kilometers from town N or from car B starting point of car B and 240 kilometers from town M ok total is 400 kilometers this is the meeting point so this is how the thing will start okay in the first one hour car a it will cover 60 kilometers okay 60 then in the next one hour it will cover more 60 kilometers then in the next hour it will cover more 60 and finally it will cover this much ok in 4 hours 240 kilometers similarly car B it will cover 40 kilometers in the first next 40 total 80 in the second then more 40 then more 40 and finally it will reach this point so it will cover 160 kilometers in 4 hours and will cover 240 kilometers in 4 hours and it is all because of relative velocity of approach ok this so to answer the question the time that will elapse before they will meet each other that is 4 hours and the point where they will meet you can say that they can meet or they will meet 160 kilometers towards the left from town M N okay town N or 240 kilometers to the right of town M okay this either way it will be correct so here is another question so it has been given that how long will a boy sitting near the window of a train a particular bogey traveling at 36 kilometers per hour which means uh, that train in which the boy is sitting it is traveling at 36 kilometer per hour see another train passing by in the opposite direction with a speed of 18 kilometer per hour okay so another train is passing in the opposite direction and it has been asked for how much duration or how much time will the boy sitting uh, in that particular bogey of uh, the faster moving train uh, see the slower moving train passing by ok the length of the train which is uh, traveling at 18 km per hour the slower train is 90 meter ok so let us first uh, you know uh, visualize this whole question ok so first let us say we have this train ok uh, we have a train in this particular boogie a boy is sitting ok we have another train approaching in the opposite direction ok this is how much 36 kilometer per hour we have another train approaching and the boy sees that train ok which is 90 meters long this ok so the boy sees the train just you know 
reaching the eye line of that boy at this point which is the start okay and this is traveling at 18 km per hour this is the start and when will we can say that this train 90 meter train has completely crossed the eye line of the boy it is when same what we'll do is that we'll take this okay Here we can say exactly that this train has crossed the eye line of the boy. It has completely crossed it and the boy will no longer see this train. So total you know distance which this train, this 18 km per hour train which has covered is to cross the eye line of the boy is the length of this train that is 90 meters okay 90 meters this much distance has to be covered because the boy has to see the whole train okay this is the start this is the end when the train completely crosses the eye line of the boy okay so here the relative velocity of two trains will come into play now we know that when we have two objects moving in opposite directions with velocities let's say u and v the net relative velocity it will be equal to u plus v so here the relative velocity it is equal to 36 plus 18 kilometer per hour which is equal to 54 kilometer per hour so here the distance is in terms of meters so we'll convert it into meters so this relative velocity in terms of meters it will be equal to 54 into 1000 meter by 3600 seconds so this will be equal to if we calculate it is coming around Fifteen, okay. It is fifteen meters per second. Okay, so the duration for which this uh, train will remain in the eye line of the boy that is equal to distance of the or the length of this slower moving train or the crossing train that is ninety meter and the relative velocity of both the trains because both the trains are moving in the opposite direction. Okay, so it will be fifteen meters per second which is equal to 6 seconds ok so the duration for which the boy will see the slower moving train of length 90 meter is 6 seconds this much ok